American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Huh. Okay. Ehrlich gesagt. Ich gesagt, kann ich die nicht aufsammeln, aber ist egal, ne? Ja, das ist offensichtlich. Kann ich wirklich und in diesem Sinne willkommen zurück zu Red Dead Redemption zu Epilog 1. Wir sind auf dem Weg nach äh, Blackwater. Endlich mal tatsächlich. Wir waren ja das, ne, bisher im normalen Spiel noch nie da gewesen. Also vielleicht finden wir ja unser altes Geld hier verscharrt irgendwo. Das wäre doch toll, hm? Seek Redemption all! It's never too late! Was ist mit dir los, Junge? Seek Salvation! And maybe ye shall find peace! Oh, lass mal lieber. Wir gehen lieber äh, hier ein bisschen. Wir gehen lieber zur Bank, ja? Das sind, glaube ich, alles Sachen, die wir einfach nicht gesehen haben, weil wir nie hier waren. Das Zeug für Ava, nicht für Johnny Boy hier. Ich habe die gleiche Kirche wie in Rhodes, wenn ich mich nicht ganz irre. Blackwater. Das ist ja vergrößer gehalten. Es gibt auch hier Kopfgelder. Okay. Guck mal, hier gibt es einen kleinen gepflasterten Teil. Unfassbar. So. so, gut. Dann mal zur Bank. Sorry. Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. So, machen wir. Also, er hier anscheinend. So, guten Tag. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. That old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean... If you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Okay. Also, wir kriegen unseren Lohn wohl tatsächlich, ja? Vielleicht müssen wir den auch abbezahlen. So. Oh boy. Oh ne, lass uns los mit diesem Gavin in Ruhe. 
Wurde jetzt aber auch alles. Ist das hier die Ranch? Ja. Dann schauen wir uns doch mal an. Oh, wir können uns auch Klamotten kaufen, aber ich glaube, wir sind momentan ein bisschen zu arm für so eine Spieße. Was würdest du das Wie würdest du mir das antun? Ja, ich habe dich angerempelt. Das ist, das ist wirklich die Feltuntergang, ne? So. Jo, Fältchen, ist alles gut. Über die wunderschönen Wiesen hier. Ah, Bandidos Pumas, ja? Oh. Oh, gerne, ne? Komm, haut mal dich mal, ne? So. Vielleicht können wir das ja dann auch mal verkaufen. Ganzen Sachen eigentlich. Ja, ein schlechtes Boomerfell. So jedermaßen, ja, ist ein bisschen, äh, ja, ein bisschen zerschossen gewesen. Jetzt soll ich mal kurz was gucken. Ah. Ah, so für den Cut. Wie gesagt, Cutterchen ist ein bisschen anstrengend hier wieder. So, ja, Pumafall verkaufen wir. Man hat euch geholfen hier. Ich hoffe, dass uns jemand hilft, wenn uns ein Puma angreift. Pferdchen. Ey. Äh. Ja, wir überfahren. Ach Gott. Na ah, hier. Du bist ein... Was bist du? Ein Dachs. So. Ja, das können wir auch einfach so mitnehmen. nicht mehr sein. Leider ist sich schon dunkel. Warte mal, ich mich doch wieder bloß über den Weg schicken. Ja, so reiten sind wir glaube ich schneller da. Oh. Ähm. Ja. So, das sind die Landräuber. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Sie gerne noch geplündert, ja. Ich hätte es wirklich toll gefunden. Ja, 
Ja, sehr schön. Sie direkt zurück nach Blackwater. Dann können wir uns hier das Ganze ja, ne? Auszahlen lassen. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Eine Ahnung, was er da unterschreibt. Also genau, schön zwei Auswertigungen, eine für den Kunden, eine für die Bank. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston, welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. Großartig. So, wie laufen das jetzt mit den Themen und so? It is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <lacht> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <lacht> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> oh, nein. Ernsthaft? Den Riemen braucht man jetzt nicht wirklich, ne? Oh Mann. Nicht Ankel, dieser Idiot. So kann das ja nichts werden mit unserer Rehabilitation. Just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> oh, you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think... Just wait right there for me. <sighs> Let's ride together, all right? Now, I was saying something... Oh, yeah. Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> oh, man, here steht echt überhaupt nichts, huh? Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? 
Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. Jump. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Sorry, Charlie hat gerade die Aufnahme gestoppt. Ja. Jetzt guckt er unschuldig. Och nein, jetzt hat er übersprungen. Ja, auf, Charlie. So. Wir haben eine Farm. Die, so wie es klang, wir jetzt ausbauen können, ne? Block Teil 2, Beecher's Hope. Ah ja. Ja, genau, Zäune bauen können wir ja zumindest. <lacht> so, 405 Grad Kleter erhalten. Heimat der Oberschicht. Okay, äh, ja, dann gehen wir mal. Onkel hat eine Aufgabe für uns, ne? Die alte Potzau. Hey, Lady. So. Das ist Leopardenfell, diese schlechte, was wir verkaufen müssen. Oh Mann. Dieses Haus. Working hard? It's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Was? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Oh my god. It's fighting with the ganze alte gang, huh? So. Ah, here we are. Come yeah. on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I'm never like this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big. So, yeah, ich habe mal kurz hier alles umgeschoben, dass ich hier nochmal arbeiten kann. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Nah, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Is it in the saloon or in the healer? What's the healer? Could we go there? So, this is here big and the way. So here, close to the edge, was it? If not, oh God, this is still a bit further away. Okay. Rahel. So, zumindest hat uns, äh, wurde uns diesmal hier nicht das Fell äh, aberkannt. Ich warte echt nur darauf, dass, dass uns hier irgendwie jemand erkennt oder so. Wir haben nicht mal, wir haben einfach gar nichts. Äh, gemischt Warenladen. Äh, gehen wir jetzt mal zum Hehler. Geld. Ja, ist doch der Markt gewesen und der Hehler, oder? Und was warst du hier nochmal? Ah, der, der Fellmensch. Kann ich das Zeug verkaufen? Ja, ja, genau. Waffenöl, das behalten wir mal lieber, so arm wie wir sind. So hatten wir doch schon. Wir hatten ein paar Sachen für den Hehler auch schon. So. 
Guten Tag. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Hm. Geht verkaufen. Na, Kentucky Perm nicht, aber hier. Silberding mit Emblem. Doppelt. Zwei silberne Taschenuhren. Enjoy the fight! Hm. Ich könnte dich auch überfallen einfach, hm? Und zwar leise. Aber nicht unbedingt den Hehler. Da müssen wir jemand anders überfallen. Ja, yeah, ich bin unterwegs. Es wäre schnell da, dann Geld zu kommen, ehrlich gesagt. Pietchen. Es ist so verlockend. Es ist so unglaublich verlockend. Bei jemanden in der dunklen Ecke. Ah. Ja, auch mal du da durchgekommen bist. Hi, hi. Do you want? So. Hier irgendwie in der Massaker. Und du bist ein Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Well, you bet enough, Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle. Between the descendant of ancient warriors so ich hoffe, der kämpft jetzt tatsächlich richtig, ne? On my left, a ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Looking slow, Lone Don't black out just yet. Komm schon. 
Pretend he's Micah. Come, Redskin. Jawohl. Wir haben sie eben Geld gewonnen. Come on, Lone Wolf. We gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Sehr gut. Wir brauchen das Geld. We just made the bed. I said we should. So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Vierzig Dollar. Ja, das läuft doch. Wir haben schon ein Viertel von dem Lohn zurück. My bag's on the dock side. Oh. What happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur? Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. It was where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Yeah, rattle him or I'll give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. He never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Hey there, Everything that happened, happen. all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh-huh. Hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He... Uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Mr. Plündern. Come on, John. Ja, ist tot oder lebendig? Natürlich, immer wieder auch. Das war auf dem Schoß, ja? Okay. Wo war Onkel gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. Äh, ach, wir haben die schönsten Sachen nicht dabei. Do you see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. 
They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're time. clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> yeah. You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind mm -hmm. of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Up and investing. Los. Ich habe eigentlich gar keine Ahnung, wie die, lang die eigentliche Folge ist. Ich beende einfach mal, dann hoffen wir das Beste und sehen uns nächste Folge wieder. Ciao, ciao.